imagine that you are on a trip to Mumbai. You are a heart patient. You just met with a serious accident and are unconscious. A humble man took you to a nearby hospital. The doctor gave you treatment and some medicines which are not prescribed for heart patients. After intake of the medicine, you were adversely affected and instantly got a heart attack. You were saved but the attack deteriorated your health drastically. It was none's mistake but was absence of some crucial information whose non-availability could have been taken your life. To prevent these kinds of misfortunes, we want to draw your attention towards a new innovative app, MedAdhar. Our app can be used by medical officials in similar situations. Our application will save data of every citizen of India in a safe and secure platform, which can be accessed by medical staff to cure people. This may save many lives and may be a help for many people in achieving healthy lives. So let's see how our application works. This is the login screen which will pop up on opening the application. The significance of this is to prevent data leakage. The usernames and passwords will be issued to only medical officials. So, let's explore the app further by entering dummy credentials. This is the home screen. Our first aim should be to register all people. So, let's try to get a person registered on our platform. For that, I will click this add record button. Now, a new screen has got opened on my device. Here are some basic fields that are to be filled, like the full name, mobile number, address, emergency mobile number, and my gender. Let's proceed further. This is the next step of registering a person. Here we have to provide our medical details like age, weight, height, blood group, allergies from any food item, allergies from any medicine, any health problems, any treatment going on. Now as you can see that I have provided all the information, I will click the proceed button. Now, the application has completed the registration and has provided us with a unique ID, which will be used in future to fetch details. We will also provide the person with a QR code on his or her mobile phone, which could be scanned for accessing data. Here, my unique ID is 20. Now, let's look how to fetch the details of a person. For that, I will return to the home screen. Here, I will press the scan button. Here, as you can see, there are two options. Either we can type the unique code or scan the QR code. So, I would like to use the provision of typing the code. In this box, I will type the unique ID which I got on registration. The doctor can also scan the QR code which will be on the back of his or her phone. Uh, let's type the unique ID. So as it is visible, we have got all the details which we filled at the time of registration. With this, we end our conversation here, hoping that our little innovation may become a utility. Thank you.